what's up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today we're going to be traveling to Romania and blasting Baros the Wretched Path. Holy shit. This is so goddamn good. Killer death metal by this duo from Romania, but featuring a member of Gut Wrench. Well, ex-member of Gut Wrench, but 8-track debut album from 2018, MC version, full color pro done tape, manufactured in the USA, limited edition of 150 copies in red and clear, cassette shells, Death and Peace Records, and Macabre End Productions. This is hands down one of the most surprising awesome death metal releases of the year. This came out of fucking nowhere and seriously, for lack of better terms, knocked my fucking socks off. Like, holy shit. Awesome, awesome stuff from Romania. Get into it. Like, wow. Boros, the wretched path. I'll discuss this in a couple days. But in the meantime, fucking wow. Awesome Romanian death metal. Fuck yeah. And now we're going to travel to good old Costa Rica and talk about Caligari Records. One of their mightiest, I think, bands. Blood Soaked Necrovoid with demo number dos. Now where to begin here with this four track, 22 plus minute slab of pure cosmic death doom from beyond. This is total abysmal horror captured in sonic form. And if you're a fan of cavernous and especially cavernous guttural, Death Doom Metal, you are going to eat up what Blood Soaked Necrovoid have to offer on the platter here with demo number two. I was a big fan of demo number one. I never got to snag a copy of it physically, but I listened to it enough digitally. But here, I cannot get enough of this release. And the more and more I listen to it, the more and more I fucking love it. From the live recording that makes the production sound even more spaced out and cavernous. But like when I say spaced out, I, just, I mean like psychedelic and chirpy. But like it's fucking wow. If you're a fan of like Spectral Voices Necrotic Doom demo, Caverns rehearsal tape. Yeah. And especially Cathelist. Demi-Lich, you are going to absolutely devour these four new tracks by Blood Soaked Necro Void. They just completely capture that like cavernous, guttural, death doom vibe, but kind of make it their own a little bit, but I hear more Cathelis than I do like Winter and some of the other bands that I know Blood Soaked Necrovoid love and whatnot. But to me, that's the one band that this mostly I hear when I listen to it. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I love the artwork done by Festering Flem, who you can follow on Instagram. He does amazing artwork for very good prices as well. And I do love his kind of Manifestor-esque influence on his illustrations and whatnot. If you don't know who Manifestor is, just look at the Spectral Voice artwork and whatnot, and you'll know who I'm talking about. And uh, I'm trying to see if he did the um, logo as well. Uh, it doesn't actually say. But I'm guessing he did because it says cover art by the Festering Phlegm. And this is definitely all his style, including demo number one. But I just really love the whole color scheme. 
Caligari did with the white cassette, the white artwork and whatnot, where the last demo was all black and shit. But these four tracks are just so fucking good. Like, it's an amazing, amazing follow-up to their first demo. And hailing from Costa Rica, to make such nightmare-inducing death metal really, really takes some fucking talent. And these guys absolutely just kill it. Especially with the live recording that helps make this sound completely like an alien fucking transmission. And it's great. I mean, I know there's tons of and tons of bands doing the whole dissonant, cavernous, cosmic horror thing. But give Blood Soaked Necrovoid a fucking shot because they do it better than 98.6% of other bands in the realms of dissonant death doom metal. And I'm not just saying that. Like, Blood Soaked Necrovoid definitely deserve your attention in 2018. And if you were not paying attention, then... I don't know what to tell you because, like I said, I do not know if they're sold out of this or not. I know it was limited to 200 copies, so I, I'm pretty sure, based off of how well the first demo was, that the second demo probably sold the fuck out. But if not, you need this in your collection if you're a fan of, like I was saying, early Spectral Voice. Cavern, that rehearsal tape is pretty much one of the closest comparisons I can throw towards Blood Soaked Necrovoid, aside from Spectral Voice Necrotic Doom and Cathelist just in general. Everything Cathelist has done, just that whole entire slimy, cavernous like vibe and whatnot, this is just drenched in it, and it's just yeah, amazing, amazing stuff by Blood Soaked Necrovoid. Four tracks, 22 minutes and 38 seconds, I think. Absolutely just awesome, awesome stuff. And some of these track titles are just, like, gnarly. They're like a fucking paragraph long. And it's great, like, flesh divinations for the ego-plundered psyche. Vortex Extracting Putrid Disembodied Beings Substance Concealed in Open Conduct Discharging Flesh Penetrating Agony And then Sempetinal Gravitational Pool of the Massic Cosmic Cauldron Yeah, like you're getting into some serious, serious cosmic horror here with Blood Soaked Necrovoid, demo number two on Caligari Records. Awesome, awesome, dissonant, fucking psychedelic death doom with a lot more in common than er with early spectral voice. Even, I would say, Dizma towards the Megalith at times. Some of these riffs are like that heavy, but like that Cathelist style of cavernous death metal that's very slimy and yeah I, I feel like Blood Soaked Necrovoid have more in common with the realms of like Cathelus and uh, I would say Demi-Lich than they do let's say Winter and whatnot, Gourmet etc but Blood Soaked Necrovoid are one of those bands that you really are going to need to keep your eyes on once they drop a full length record because hopefully these two demos are not all we hear from these four Costa Rican gen well from this trio of Costa Rican gentlemen and these four tracks like I said are just absolutely no pun intended out of this world completely awesome cavernous death metal Riddled in Doom, if you're a fan, like I said, of Early Spectral Voice, Cathelist, The Cavern Rehearsal Tape, get in the Blood Soaked Necrovoid. Both of their demos are absolutely fucking amazing. 
and you have Jose Maria Arnia on drums, Jure Camacho on bass and vocals, and Federico Gutierrez on guitars and vocals as well. Recorded live 10-14-2018 at 34th Studios. And you can contact these maniacs at bloodsoakednecrovoid at gmail.com. And maybe they have extra copies if Caligari does not. I can't recommend this enough. And my favorite track on here probably has to be Vortex Extracting Future Disembodied Beings. It's just fucking sick. But all four of these tracks, I feel, need to be listened to back to back. And it just adds for a more immersive experience into the suffocating realms of Blood Soaked Necrovoid. Like as cavernous and stuff as this sounds, it's also, due to the live recording and production, very, very suffocating and just fucking sick. If you're a fan, like I said, of just very, very psychedelic, but yet crushing, doomed out death metal, you have no excuse not to check this demo out or the demo before it on Caligari Records, Blood Soaked Necrovoid with demo number two. Costa Rican trio of death metal maniacs. Sick, sick shit on Caligari Records. And I'm pretty sure this is a cassette only release along with demo number one. And I really like the cosmetics here. And we were blasting one of these death metal releases that came very, very late in the year. But I can't get enough of The Wretched Path by Varos. It's just some amazing, amazing Romanian death metal featuring ex-member of Gut Wrench. And this is a duo. So we have an amazing death metal duo and an amazing death metal trio here. Both from different countries and both absolutely killing it here in 2018. But Blood Soaked Necrovoid definitely have a higher profile in the underground it seems than this bad boy right here which I didn't even know fucking existed until yesterday when it arrived in the mail and just blew my fucking socks off. And I'll put the Bandcamp link below because Varos and The Wretched Path is not something to just pass over. These two maniacs just nailed it. Seriously, they fucking nailed it. This is so good and I'll be discussing this another time, but for right now, get into some Blood Soaked Necrovoid on Caligari Records. So fucking good. And as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells.